Ladies and gentlemen. Well, good evening, everybody, and we welcome you ringside. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we're just about ready for action. EA Sports presents 12 rounds of boxing. Well, they're scheduled to go to full 12 here tonight. Round one now underway. Vicious's work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? Teddy, this has the feeling of a fight that very much looks like it'll be a chess match. Yeah, this is a Bobby Fischer type fight, no doubt about that. It's a matter of who moves their pawn, and each guy doing a real careful job and a thoughtful job before they touch those pieces. There's a nice left hand able to get in. Teddy, what role can the fans play on the fighters, the atmosphere of the arena when they know there's two guys meeting up that can bang? An immature fighter, a less experienced fighter, can get caught up. He can try to satisfy the audience. That's a quick way to be going into the shallow. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, his opponent's doing a good job of just being patient now and looking for that one good shot. Well, you know, the landscape of this business, the history of this business is littered with guys that they've had someone hurt, they get a little careless, they get caught. He better watch out that he doesn't get put on that landscape. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counterpunch. Looked like the will of the whips, the old great Willie Pep. Made him miss, made him pay. See him trying to cut down that tree with a well-placed right hand. Nice block. Vicious is doing well here with that two-punch combination. Oh, and there he lands the right hand well. He got rocked. He just got rocked, and he's still taking punches. The only way right now is to grab on a little bit, stop this flow. Vicious' his corner men have been with him for quite some time. They know exactly what to say to hit upon those key points, to encourage him a little bit, to give him a little bit of a boost after coming off a round that was less than stellar. He got tagged in that last round. Stay away from the power hand, okay? Keep circling away from that power hand. I need you to keep moving side to side, all right? There you go. We start a new round here. It's hard to believe that we're even in this round based on how that last round finished. Well, if you ever watched some of those Houdini movies, you know, the great escape artist, kind of hard to believe he got out of some of those fixes he was in. You know, inside that box with chains around him underwater. He's going to have to do a Houdini right here. Come on, good luck. Able to place the right hand in there. Not much action as he just ties up. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Solid left. Each man able to land an uppercut. How about that left hand? is damaged badly there he may hit the floor he is stunned but somehow manages to have the wherewithal to hold on good scoring shot it was a straight right to the head he goes with a left and just like that things turn around a back and forth round both men have been rocked this is what boxing's about this is what battle is about this is what human spirit is all about. Solid straight right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. 
hard to believe that they can keep up like that. One of those rounds that you just won't forget. Both guys able to land big punches on the other. Well, in the old days, they've been snapping one of those capsules under their nose, you know, smelling salt, ammonia capsules. Not allowed anymore. They want to wake them up, get them together. Now you got to dump a little water on them, send them out. Vicious's right hand scores well that time. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Blocks a shot and then lands an uppercut of his own. Vicious is doing a beautiful job here early on of counterpunching. Yeah, it's going to pay off for him later on. You know, we talk about body work paying off for you down the road, like investing, putting money in the bank. Well, counterpunching pays off too because your opponent becomes a little tentative and then down the stretch, he's not busy enough. That wasn't able to land. There's the uppercut, one of my favorite punches, and it works that time for him. He got all into that one. That was a solid uppercut. Halfway through this round here. You know, when we sat with these guys yesterday in preparation for this broadcast, we asked them, all right, what's your favorite punch? They both had the same response. We like them all. Well, that's a smart fighter, because you want to be as versatile, as rounded as... Vicious is almost out of it there. He was stunned. Wow! A huge shot lays down, and he's on the floor. And he has a decision to make, a choice to make, right now. One, two, three. And somehow, someway, he's going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight... And yet another big shot comes in. Can he get up from this? He's done it before, but can he get up from a second time down? One, two, three, four. He gets up after that punch, put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. What a damaging blow. Nice hook upstairs. And the round comes to an end. Well, I think this is a fairly even fight, Teddy. As we look at your scorecard, that's the way you have it as we begin round number four. Well, it's been a battle of jabs. Oh, that uppercut got him badly. <laughs> Able to dismiss that body shot. <laughs> he brings an uppercut that really does damage there. Vicious is showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. The combo lands upstairs. You see what happens when he commits to the uppercut? Look at that. Great work there. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Not an accurate hook at all. Move your feet. Vicious is on the receiving end of a hook. Keep working the body. Keep working the body. Committing to the body work now. He lands the right hand. Move away from the ropes. Ten 
seconds to go in the fourth. Vicious his movements really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Keep working the body. End of the round, and that was a very good example of how to be efficient with what you're doing. Yeah, it's a good example of how, as you say, Joe, he doesn't waste anything, you know. He wants to make everything count, but it gives hope that the other guy can come back because there's spots where you can out-hustle. While he's being so conservative, you can just outwork him a little. We'll see if it keeps up in this round of what has been a very even fight. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Scores with the uppercut. Vicious is swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Big, big shot he just scored with. Can you believe that? What a huge punch. You couldn't have seen that one coming. And those are the ones you usually don't prepare for. You prepare for the ones that are more sophisticated, the ones that are a little tighter in the gym. You don't have training for these. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's over. This fight is over. Vicious is smashed, and he can't get up. Unable to beat the count. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of knockouts, you're winner. That's how you end a fight right there. Yes, he was controlling throughout, but he made a good, clean finish with the knockout. Yeah, as a trainer, you want to know, can a guy punch? Can a guy defend? You know, can a guy control distance? But you want to know, can a guy finish? He got the answer. Yes, he can finish. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night. I the only one that walked away. Look around.